A little bit of a break right now, which is great news for folks that are working on the holiday heading out. But uh, later today, weather will get a little bit of active. Uh, starting out above freezing in Salt Lake, 36 right now, although mid 20s in Park City, it's 19 currently in Roosevelt, 11 in Vernal. Uh, most valleys are in the 30s, although warmer than that in St. George, where you're starting out at 41 degrees. And as April mentioned, we've got a few spotty showers out there, mainly over the western half of the state, uh, which might be slowing you down uh, a little bit early on. But we're gearing up for more active weather, as I mentioned, later today. And that's because of uh, big trough of pressure settling in from the Pacific. Pieces of that are going to be breaking off, moving through today and tomorrow. Uh, so as that entire system slides through, we'll get the potential for some widespread wet weather developing. Initially in southern Utah this morning, making its way north by this afternoon into this evening, and then lingering through tomorrow. In fact, by Tuesday evening into Monday morning, we could be looking at some impressive totals, especially in the southern mountains where there might be a foot or two. Uh, there could be several inches in south central and southwest Utah. Uh, that's where we're expecting most valley accumulation to be significant. We could get two to six inches in some of the western and central valleys, possibly the northwest desert, uh, maybe up to a foot in the northern mountains, uh, about half that amount on the Wasatch back, and then an inch or two in some of the northern valleys, including the Huinta Basin. And that would be most likely later tonight into tomorrow. Now, at ahead of all that, it'll actually be a mild day in Salt Lake with the temperature climbing to 42, which still has us, uh, <coughs> excuse me, a little bit above average for this time of year. It'll be in the mid-30s in Logan, mid-40s in Moab, 48 expected in St. George. And again, initially, we get the wet weather developing in the south, making its way north, so plan on that by the end of the day. Everybody will have some wet roads to deal with. Then we'll get another chance of rain and snow in St. George tomorrow, but by Wednesday, a little bit of a break before yet another system brings more rain and no snow showers on Thursday. Then you'd be drying out heading into the weekend. And in northern Utah, we're expecting a better chance of snow later tonight into tomorrow with those minor accumulations that might slow things down a little bit. On Wednesday, we'll get a break, another chance of snow on Thursday, and then we'll dry out briefly heading into the weekend. But we might get more snow showers popping up again this Sunday.